In a world where invasive giant reed spreads rapidly, humans have been trying to control it for decades. So why study the control of the giant reed? The giant reed is a ubiquitous invasive found in much of the southern United States. Originally introduced as an ornamental and biofuel crop, the properties that make it attractive as a biofuel make it an aggressive invasive and increase its likelihood to spread. In addition to being fiscally intensive in the control of the reed, it is also very water intensive and thus displaces native vegetation and wildlife habitat. Additionally, it proliferates fire intensity, making it a concern for human safety. Biological controls are one of the many vectors of control for the giant reed. This method of control employs other living organisms to diminish the health of the targeted pest. The first biocontrol I examine is the orendo wasp, which suppresses leaf and stem growth of the reed. In Austin, the initial site of release of the wasp is said to be in the Peace Park region of Shoal Creek. The second biocontrol I examine is the arendo fungus. This fungus allows the colonization of a gnat, the arendo leaf miner. The leaf miner then defoliates the reed, allowing light in through the canopy and enabling the growth of native plants. It also is hypothesized to spread very quickly. The leaf miner, however, is currently quarantined by the USDA and has not yet been introduced to Austin due to minimal information on the presence of the arendo fungus. The questions I address in this study are, has the Arundo wasp spread its range from previously collected data, and is the Arundo fungus in the Austin area? This map shows the distribution of study sites, and this table shows some of the results I found by site. The Ys indicate presence in each of the columns. The first column indicates whether or not a previous study found the Arendo wasp at this specific location. All of these locations still have the wasp. The novel wasp column indicates sites that I recently found the wasp at. And finally, the last column shows sites I have found the fungus at. These results indicate that the wasp continues to be a viable form of control because we do not have to manually spread it within region. Additionally, since the fungus is present, the leaf miner can be unquarantined and released into the Austin area, adding increased vitality to the biological control program for the giant reed.